Well, we've all heard the warnings about our kids and too much screen time, but you may not realize just how early the problem can start and how serious it can be. It recently got the attention of our Camille Williams. Yeah, it wasn't until my son needed help from a speech therapist for a speech delay that I found out about a term called electronic screen syndrome and how exposing children, specifically those under three years old, to handheld devices could be harmful in ways we never thought. Electronic screen syndrome. It's a condition seen in very young children overstimulated from too much screen time. Some researchers say it can be as bad as an addictive drug, affecting a part of the brain that controls executive functioning and impulse control the same way cocaine does. Even small amounts of screen time, even if it's educational, can cause issues. If Dr. Victoria Dunkley is a child psychiatrist, a researcher and an author. She's the one who coined the term electronic screen syndrome, and she says there are two types of screen time to watch for interactive and passive, each affecting the child's brain differently. So interactive are things like video games, cell phones, the iPad, whereas uh, passive is more like just, you know, watching TV or, or a movie. Interactive screen time, because it's more stimulating, actually causes more damage. A lot of parents and, and even researchers think that because it's interactive, that at least the child's doing something, so it must be better than, you know, just simply vegging on the couch. But what we're actually seeing is that children are more sensitive to it because it's so stimulating. Sarah Ridley, a speech language pathologist who's been working with children ages zero to three for two decades, says it is possible to spot electronic screen syndrome even in infants. What they start doing to connect with the world, they don't realize that their baby's eyes are also starting to connect only to that device. Ridley warns infant brains are the most sensitive and there are even times she says a parent using a handheld device while feeding a baby could be harmful. And then what happens is when they get a little older, there's no teacher or adult that can compete with that, that can move that fast, that can um, disorganize the brain that fast. And school gets hard, paying attention gets hard. Learning how to interact with another peer is hard. Dr. Dunkley says research also finds that children with electronic screen syndrome usually have problems with communication, attention, and aggression. And sometimes these symptoms, she says, can lead to kids being misdiagnosed with other conditions. Children are getting diagnosed with things, you know, like ADHD or oppositional defiant disorder. They're receiving services they don't necessarily need. Um, sometimes they're receiving medication. But if there's good news in any of this, it's that electronic screen syndrome can be reversible. Dr. Dunkley says you can essentially reset your child's brain by eliminating all screen time in an all out electronic fast. It's really beneficial if they can just remove all screens for three to four weeks and see what happens. We have more details on exactly how to carry out that digital fast in our article on care11.com. Ridley also says she would like to see more awareness and education on electronic screen syndrome from hospitals and pediatricians. She wants it to be part of the discharge plan after a mother delivers and at follow-up appointments with doctors. Back to you. Really interesting. Makes yeah. sense too, doesn't it? I mean, Absolutely. it's a whole new world, so right. yeah. little, little guidance on how to parent through it is very nice.